In 2019, over 61 crore voters cast their votes using EVMs at 10 lakh polling stations across India. Let's take a closer look at our MVP for this season, the electronic voting machine. When you enter a polling station, you see a room full of officials tasked with managing the entire voting process. As you stand before the voting compartment, you see two machines in front of you. One is the balloting unit with the sequence of contesting candidates, the other is the VV pad, which prints a slip containing details of your vote for verification. But there is another important component which is sitting with one of the officers in front of you. This is the control unit which records your vote. These three machines comprise the EVM. Here's how the three machines communicate. The control unit consists of a ballot button which enables a voter to cast their vote. Once it is pressed, you get to vote using the buttons on the balloting unit next to your choice of candidate. The balloting unit lets the control unit know the serial number against which you press the button. The control unit then relays your choice to the VV pad for printing the slip. This slip remains visible through a transparent window for 7 seconds after which it is stored inside VV pad. The control unit then records your vote and confirms this to you with a buzzer sound. Now if you're wondering why the control unit is kept separate and not in front of you like the other two, the answer is quite simple. What if someone presses the button on the balloting unit repeatedly to record the vote more than once? The design of EVM accounts the same with the ballot button feature. Until the officer presses the ballot button, no vote can be recorded. Additionally, as a safeguard against booth capturing, an EVM only allows up to four votes to be cast in one minute. So if someone attempts booth capturing, the low rate of vote recording will slow them down, giving security forces enough time to arrive at the polling station. To prevent hacking and manipulation, several safeguards have been put in place as per ECI. For instance, the design, production, programming and maintenance of EVMs are done by two PSUs. The program for EVMs is written on a non-reprogrammable chip, which cannot be changed again. EVMs do not have the capability to connect to any network like Bluetooth, Internet, Wi-Fi, removing the possibility of accessing the machine remotely. Tune into our next video to find out how EVMs are kept safe during transportation.